Well, hey, <laughs> good morning everybody. How you doing? <laughs> it's cold. Like minus 14 Celsius. I'm pretty sure the snow is not going anywhere at this point. I had hoped. We only have five inches, but I think uh, it's here to stay. You can hear it crunching under my boots. Time to go for a cold, frosty walk in the swamp. Put your long underwear on, Sandy. You're gonna need it. So, I brought my wife up to the big rock and showed her the bird feeders I had set up and just so she would know where it was and if she went for a walk she could go up there and fill the feeders for me. And then we came through the bush on no trail to come back down here and I left, oh there it is, I left my bird feeder cup just hanging in a tree. So, because we ended up walking all the way around the trail the other day, I wanted to, again, check for tracks, and I don't tell her that, right? We're just going for a walk. Don't tell your spouse you're looking for Bigfoot. <laughs> no, dear, we're just gonna go for a walk. Yeah, that's better. There. My conscience is clear. The birds can snack. I don't feel bad. Oh, look at the frost in the tree line up here. Yeah, so Gage is getting a good frost beard going. I'm sure after 20 minutes more out here, I'll have one going. It is beautiful out here. It's just, it's cold for so long <laughs> that it will eventually sap your will to live, to go out and do anything. I actually got the new hunting blind. It's ready to go. I just can't bring in and set it up up there. The winds have been so strong and it's so cold and so much work to get it up there that uh, I'm, I'm afraid that it's gonna get blown away or I'm just not gonna use it because it's cold. So I don't wanna take it and set it up there and have a, the wind blow it over and then all the snow pile on top of it. So I think I'm being smart by just waiting until we get a little nicer weather and I don't know, I'm excited to use it, but not excited to sit in the cold. Electronics don't like the cold. My fingers don't like the cold. I think we're better off just to go for a, a bushwalk with the heated gloves. Hey, did you do that? Mister, did you write your name in the snow? seeing all kinds of deer tracks on the trails. So it's cold enough that the deer that are here are moving. They're not staying around for too long. They gotta keep moving to keep warm. That's a nice track right there. There's the doe track. It's, it's got more of a heart shape to it. So the buck track is longer. Buck track will be like too long like that where if you look right here, it's basically a heart for the doe. 
two long hoof pads there. And then right here is rounded. And of course, this one's twice the size, right? Funny enough, guys, you can still see the imprint in the ground where we cast that track. Well, if you couldn't see the shape of the footprint before, you can now that it's filled with plaster. And there's even toe marks there, so I mean, I don't know, guys. Right there is where we made that cast of our footprint. Rabbit trail right there going across. What are you sniffing? Oh, Fisher tracks. Fisher tracks. So the Fisher went through here. Super quiet out here today. Tons and tons of tracks and activity of movement out here. But I'm not seeing anything. Oh, what's he rolling in over there? I see you. Hey. Funny enough, I don't see any fox poop or anything, which is what I thought it would be. It might have been just deer urine, because I do see deer tracks here. Either way, you're disgusting, Gage. See, terrain like that, you've got to be very careful this time of year, because you can step, and there might be a hole there. You can't see it. It'd be very treacherous walking out here off trail this time of year. I just figured out a mystery, guys. I know why those people were here trespassing the day that we got two guys walking through the woods. I'm pretty sure it was two guys with a dog. They have re-flagged the snowshoe trail back here. They were asked to remove it by Dave because they've got to cross Dave's property to get over here to mine. And for insurance purposes, liability and all that, Dave said, no, I don't want you guys you know, snowshoeing across the back of my property. It's swamp, it's very treacherous land, and I'm not gonna be responsible for, you know, people using that publicly when it's my private land. And so he asked them to remove it from the trail system. They had maps up, they had printed maps and everything, and he had them remove that trail, and it runs, oh, it's gotta be four or five miles all around this side of the swamp, and it goes back over and it joins the far side of the swamp, which we can't get to until the freeze. 
So for, you know, 70% of the year, you can't get to that far side of the swamp. Anyway, they've, they've remarked it here, is what they were doing. That's, I think, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what they were doing. I couldn't figure out why those guys were in here. And I didn't hear any shots, they weren't hunting, it was just bird season. So that was my other guess, was that they were hunting, but no. They've remarked the flag trail. So, I don't mind that they have the flag trail going through here, because Gage and I actually use the snowshoe trail. Um, but they have to be respectful of the other property owners, and if Dave says no, he doesn't want it, then they need to not use it. Now I got ravens calling on both sides, over there and over there. And it actually did send a little shiver down the back of my neck. I think I'm getting conditioned to these guys calling and then havoc ensuing afterwards. Strangeness. I'm gonna just try something. Gage thinks I'm whistling for him, but I'm just gonna whistle a couple of times before we turn around and head back for the house. Just to see if maybe we can entice something to happen. Definitely following me now. I'm telling you something weird about those friggin' ravens. Okay, that was really weird. I swear I just heard a voice. <laughs> I swear. And I was recording. Oh, full body shiver. I'm at home, I'm analyzing this where I said I thought I heard a voice. Guys, there is a voice on the recording. Oh, full body shiver, oh God. That's what started this whole paranormal session today was this voice that I thought I heard and you still blow it off like, oh, maybe you just heard something else. No, there is a voice. You guys are probably going to need a headset. There is a voice. It says something. I can't make out what it says. It is there. It is in the recording. So that is a true EVP. No apps running, just the camcorder. And there is a voice there and I heard it with my own ear. Oh, that gives me the creeps. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. I thought I heard a voice. I've got my phone in my pocket. I don't wanna do necrophonic because that's total voices. But if somebody's here, maybe, maybe they wanna say something and they can say it over Hack Shack. I heard you, what were you trying to say? You can use this device to say it. Oh, getting a shiver. Yeah, getting a shiver. Right down the back. Who's here?
I'm not gonna run this long, so if you have something to say, say it now. One message. I had no intention of running this today. All right, I guess you don't have anything to tell me. I might already... Full neck shiver. Unfortunately, I think I talked over that. I knew we were gonna get a response, and quick too. Yeah, another wave. Oh, some geese. Three geese flying by. I could hear something. I didn't know what it was. Okay, I'm listening. I won't say anything. What is it? Oh, every time they send a message, another wave goes down the back of my neck. This walk suddenly just got creepy. I think that the last two voices were female, I think. You don't see too many people back here in the woods, do you? Okay, it's really cold on the hands. Do you guys have anything to say about me purchasing this land? Male voice. Thinking of something. It's crazy the amount of responses we're getting here in six minutes of having this on. I knew it, I just had that feeling. I'm listening. Ooh, I still feel you. I'm not asking questions. You just tell me what you want to tell me. We're making our way back down to the creepy corner right now. We're in behind it. I'll just keep this running. Are those ravens following me? Oh, 
I was trying to put my mitts away. We got another response there. Turned the camera off and I knew it. As soon as I did, I was like, I'm gonna get a response. And it said, yours. I heard what it said. What's mine? The land? Should the land be mine? I know it can never truly be mine, but I can protect it for a while. Stop development from happening. Is that a good idea? Okay, I'm not feeling shivers anymore. You guys get, oh, there's a shiver. I was just gonna say, give me a shiver before you speak. All right down the back. Still going. Now you gotta say something though. How come you guys talk every time I turn the recording off? All right, I'm sitting at the creepy corner and I'm gonna wait for two responses. Two responses when I'm not talking. And then I'm out of here. You guys have a message for me? Sending out light. Come on guys, I know you can do it. Thank you, you're welcome. What are you thanking me for? The light, I just said I'm sending out light. You want me to do it again? Okay. All right, if you guys can draw from the creepy corner rock. We're pulling away. Oh, full body shiver, that said stay. Oh. Okay. If you're gonna talk to me, I'll stay for a couple more minutes. Two more messages, I'm gonna sit down again. You don't argue with the spirits when they tell you to stay. <laughs> Do you mind? That's my chair. Hey, go find your own stick. That's my chair. Bugger off. Oh. 
Okay, time is money, baby. Give me the message. I said I would stay if you were gonna talk to me. Yeah. Oh, frozen. All right, if you guys aren't gonna talk, I'm not staying. Oh, fine, you know what? I didn't wanna do this because it takes forever to edit. I'll switch to the Necrophonic very briefly. I'm not even gonna ask a question. You guys told me to stay. You obviously have something you wanna tell me. I knew you guys had a message for me back there, which is why I turned this on. All right, so if you've got something to say, I need you to speak one at a time, clearly, and give me a message within 20 seconds. Was that it? Did you guys get the light that I sent? Would you like some more light? Sending, sending the light. All right, I'm out of here. I had no intentions of doing a paranormal session today but sometimes I just feel when there's a message for me. I don't have any clue of what they said on Hack Shack or on here. You guys will now know because it will be edited, it'll be up on the screen. But I'm sure it's pertinent and makes sense.